In this lesson, you'll learn how to insert a map and an image directly from the Google environment into your Roam project. Insert, insert. So find images that represent. So, so a visual, a visual working on. Google map that's easy to insert. You can make it say whatever you want it to do. You can go to any location pretty much in the world as long as you know the place name of where you're going. And then you can add interest by grabbing some images from uh, popular locations using the Google image search. All right, so let's see how we do all that stuff. You saw the example there. I'm going to go ahead to the insert menu. Actually, I'm going to turn off my sheets here on the left so I have a little more room to work with. I'm going to go ahead and go to the insert menu and I'm going to insert a media object and the first thing I want to do is insert a map. So insert media objects map. And what I do I'm automatically going to get this size of map that's going to pop onto my canvas. It's going to be centered on the United States. But I can change the size of this. I can make it bigger or smaller depending on my design needs. Now you don't want to make it too small because you do notice that the little zoom tool and navigation tools over on the right hand side don't really change size so you don't want them hanging outside the, your map so you don't want to kind of leave it there maybe at the default setting. So my map is here and what I have to do is basically search for the location that I want to have on my map and to do that we're going to go ahead and follow the little gray box there it tells us what to do double click to open up that map and get it ready to be edited. Now notice what happened here on my canvas. A couple of things. Number one, my toolbar changed. Okay, now I've got a couple, just a couple little options here. Number two, across the top I see a breadcrumb trail. Right now I'm working on my map. If I want to go back and work on the main object on the canvas then I would click on the sheet. Okay, and my flyout menu will provide me with the options that I might want to use to locate a place on the map. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and type in the name of the place that I want to find. And once I find that and I press enter, or type that in, press enter, the location is identified, you're going to go ahead and you're going to see it right here. I'm just going to double click. I want to make sure that's selected. Now the tricky part here is it doesn't look like anything's happened, but if I use the zoom toolbar across the bottom and I zoom way in, you're going to see in fact that I am centered on the city of San Francisco, right? So again, it's a little bit funky. Let's say I wanted to go to Denver instead of San Francisco. Type in Denver, locate it, okay? It zooms in at this level and gets directly where I want it to go. So that's a good thing. So we got that in there, but you do have to remember to um, get your zoom level set if you want to be right down at the street level. Now the other thing you have the option to do here is set the style for the map. Right now I show a map, but let's say I wanted to show a hybrid view that shows both the map and the satellite at the same time. I can switch to hybrid, and of course I can switch to satellite. And if I want to look at a terrain map, I can do that too. That'll give me kind of a view of how things are in terms of the hills and whether things are hilly or not. I think for my map, I'm going to leave mine set at the hybrid setting. All right, and then I can zoom in a little tighter if I want, zoom out if I want, and get my map in place. Now, the other thing that happens, and you may not notice this when you first use this tool, is your insert options also change when you're down editing at the map level. Now I have a chance here to put a map marker in. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my map marker in place and maybe I'll get it a little bit smaller. I don't think it needs to be quite that big. All right, and get it into the location where I want it to be. And then I can change the color. Let's say I want it to be a nice, so I don't know, kind of a blue color or green color or yellow color, it doesn't matter. I can use the uh, color selection tool just like I did 
in my other tools to put the color in there that I want. I can also, with my map marker, put a little tooltip in place. Okay, so let's say I'm doing a, uh, a project where I want to have a number of, of cities called out. I could have a larger map and each one could have its own color tool uh, marker and, it's, and a different tooltip that would appear when somebody zooms in on it. Now remember what I said before, we have to go back to the sheet level up at the, across the top using this little breadcrumb trail. And when we do that, now we can take a preview of our map and see how that came out. Okay, so there's my map. I can drag it around. I can decrease the zoom and my marker will stay in the right location. So no matter how far out I go, I can always see my little marker there. And then I can also zoom right in, right down to street level and see cars and see what's going on there in San Francisco right as we speak. If I want to center, again, just like any other Google map, I can center that in and then zoom down tight to see what's happening right down in the middle of the city. So very cool little use of the Google um, services that are provide, uh, provided directly from within Adobe Rome. And uh, next we'll take a look at how to insert images from Google Search. Got our nice little interactive map there in our canvas or on the canvas. We're ready to continue with our report by adding some images. And once again, we'll turn to the insert menu to get that done. I'm going to click on insert, web media search. And when I do that, a window is going to fly open and it has the standard search field at the top. Now you can see it remembers the last search I happened to do, which was for the Golden Gate Bridge and it gives me all the results here. So I'm going to go ahead and select on one that I like. Let's say this one here from um, the view from down at the water level. And really a beautiful picture and if you'll notice in particular that down at the bottom there are two URLs listed and this is common for the things that you'll find using this feature. This allows you to make sure that you always have the copyright information for the images that you insert. So if I were to click this link, it would take me over to the actual image URL. And probably more importantly, the context URL shows me where this image was actually found. So in the case of these, we're looking at a Wikipedia article. So more than likely, we're going to be just fine in using this image for a school project. But you are, of course, expected to document these things and to provide uh, proper credit for the owners of images so that uh, no one thinks that you actually went out to California and took this picture yourself. So if you're doing this report then you would cite these references as you would for anything else that you would grab from the web and use on a report that you're doing for school. Now a lot of these images may be too big for the canvas that we're using so that's fine. We'll just let Adobe Roam resize the image and when it does, it will make it fit the canvas. But as we can see, it's a little bit too big. So I'm just going to drag from the corner and I'll resize that image, bring it down to the size that I want, and maybe give a little more room to my map. Okay, so remember images like this, we can do a collage if we wanted to. We could take this and rotate it a little bit. Maybe we wanna actually let it sit on top of the map or use the arrange feature. It doesn't really matter if I go ahead and I select on here and I go to arrange and I keep my map in the front, I can build a nice little collage here. Let's do another one. Uh, insert, media search. Okay, this time I'm going to search for San Francisco. All right, when I click, I'll hit return. It's going to show me those images that are available for San Francisco. Got to have a picture of cable car. So I import that, let it be resized, bring it on down a little smaller for my canvas. Maybe I want to build my collage by turning that a little bit and again clicking arrange 
keep my map out to the front. Okay, so it's really, you know, a lot of fun and uh, completely safe. The uh, web search for um, for maps, or sorry, web search for your images are, are safe search. So um, you don't have to worry about being distracted by things that don't uh, belong in a school setting. Let's do a search for Alcatraz, the famous island there off the coast of San Francisco. Go ahead and import that one. Yes, we'll resize it. And then we'll finish with a manual resize. And we'll rotate it just for artistic effect. Place that in here. And once again, move my map to the front. All right, and I could continue on, we could continue on, but you get the idea. These options are available inside the insert menu. Insert a map, insert an image. Um, it's all relatively easy to do. All we have to do is go to insert media objects map to find our map, or insert web media search to have this media search pop up and find the images that we want to use in a report.